take my gallon of raw milk and I divide it into some jars. That way I have less of a surface area and I let it sit overnight and you can see the additional amount of fat right here, the heavy cream, if you can kind of see right there, up here, right there, and then that's got about an inch of it. So I just take a little ladle, especially when I'm down to this little bit that's left. I want to make sure that I get just the heavy cream. It's tedious, but boy, I'll tell you what, is it ever worth it? And if I get a little bit too much milk, that's okay, because it'll just come right off the top, right off the bottom of it when I'm making the butter. And then I'll just give it to the cat, or I'll use it for baking bread, cooking with it, and then um, make pancakes, use it for cake. We're getting pretty consistently about a quart of heavy cream off of this raw milk. Not too bad. Make sure I get all that goodness in there, so I'm going to use a little scraper to get that heavy cream in there. I'm only going to do one quart at a time just because I want to know approximately how much I'm going to get. I'm going to start this out on slow, and then as it thickens up, I'll uh, accelerate it just a little bit. I just want to show a little bit of the, what's going on in here. It's just now starting to foam a little bit. Right, see how the milk is starting to come off there like that? And it's kind of like a, looks like maybe skim milk. Yeah, we're getting there. Look at that, guys. It's like instant butter. I'll let this go a minute and see what it does. Maybe it'll make a big old ball. I'm going to squish this around to get all the milk out of it, and then I'm going to rinse it off. So you can see that a little bit of a milky so coming off of there, you just want that to be gone. This would be the time that if you were going to add salt to it, you would add the salt now and just kind of massage it in. <laughs> 